As Minnesota moves forward on the road of legal marijuana, so too does Olmstead County. Yes. And its sheriff's office. There go, boy. Yeah, bud. A move drawing mixed emotions in the canine unit. It's going to be difficult, that's for sure. Handler Ryan Jones' longtime partner will retire. Yeah, he's our oldest. Not just because of Django's age, but because he can't be trained to stop detecting pot, which could compromise narcotic searches in the future, a skill they stopped teaching new dogs years ago. It changes how we do things every day. Captain Ryan Mangan calls the dogs reliable. He's just not ready to take the risk as the new law rolls out. Based on the dog's indication of maybe marijuana, and we do a search based on that and we find marijuana, that could potentially be an illegal search. We're all learning about it, learning how to navigate through this change. The change is also expensive. A new canine can cost thousands of dollars and months of training. This is a canine Cobra. Who at nearly 10, and I've been running him since uh, 2015. We'll also retire, and the department will be down its last two drug-sniffing dogs. I tried. Relegated to just tracking and apprehension until then. That has his handler trying to handle his heartache. That bond is, is hard to break, and um, it's going to be difficult the first couple weeks on the road. The end of an era in Olmstead County. Good boy. That's sparking more changes in the future. Here.